All right, in this one, m to the g to the third to the negative 1, there's a couple things you guys should understand about this. First thing, do you guys see that m and g cubed are not separated by addition or subtraction? They're not. They're separated by multiplication, right? Since they're separated by multiplication, we use what we call the power to product rule. That means I can distribute my power to both of my terms. Please understand, though, if this was, if they were separated by this, you couldn't do that. No. Everybody wants to do that when they're separated by addition or subtraction. You cannot distribute a power when something's distributed, separated by addition or subtraction. Okay. However, since these are separated by multiplication, I can now rewrite this as m to the negative first times g cubed to the negative first. So you raise both of them. That's called the power to product rule, and it's actually in one of your examples as well. Now we just need to understand or remind ourselves what happens when we have a negative power. Well, if in one of those examples, x to the negative m is equal to 1 over x to the m. Or if you had 1 over x to the negative m, that equals x to the m. So when you have a negative power to make it positive, we just need to put it um, as its reciprocal. So therefore, m to the negative uh, first power would be 1 over m, and then times 1 over g cubed. Because what's 3 times that? Because, or I didn't go with this. This would be the power product rule, um, or the power rule. When you have an exponent raised to another power, you multiply them. So that becomes negative 3. So you'd have to put that into the denominator. And then, therefore, you could just rewrite this like that. And that would be your final answer.